what's up guys it's been a while i hope you're all well today we have an outdoor photo shoot with my friend james at the beautiful lord Egerton castle and uh apart from making a small behind the scenes video i'll also be taking some of the photos and today i'll be using primarily two vintage manual focus lenses so today is a bit of a vintage lens review slash vlog slash behind the scenes uh so join me and james as we do the photo shoot While our client had her makeup done, we decided to proceed and begin with the setup process. You shall not pass. This magnificent edifice is the Lord Egerton Castle. Lord Maurice Egerton built this castle to impress a woman whom he wanted to marry, and even after all his efforts, she still rejected him. It is said that she likened this castle to a dog's kennel. Egerton was heartbroken and never found love again. So we're here. This is the famous Lord Egerton Castle. Pretty beautiful building with a rather tragic story behind it. Ironically, the castle is very popular with lovers these days. It's used for a lot of weddings and engagements, and it's also a very popular couple's picnic site. So the light modifier we decided to use that day was the Godox P120L Parabolic Octabox. This is one of the vintage lenses I was talking about. This is the Canon FD 135mm f2.5 lens from 1971. And this is the Nikon F1.4 Nikkor S vintage lens from 1967. Both lenses are manual focus only. So initially the plan was to do mostly outdoor shoots but while we were here we couldn't resist taking advantage of some of these lovely spaces like this magnificent organ and dance room with very exquisite wood finishing and big beautiful windows. James decided to do the test shots on me. I'm usually more comfortable behind the camera, but I think the shots turned out okay. Rather than put the photos at the end, I'll insert them throughout the video. And I've also included the settings we were shooting on. So at any point you can pause on a photo and check out that information if that's something you're into. Here I was using the natural light streaming in from the window to light the subject and I was shooting with the Nikko f1.4 manual focus lens. Here I was shooting with the 135mm lens, also manual focus. You'll notice a trend throughout these videos, James mostly favours uh, the full length portraits and I mostly was going for the tight headshots.
James is shooting with the 85mm f1.8 lens. After shooting in the organ room, we decided to go and shoot on this beautiful wooden staircase. I placed the subject between the banister and the wood panels at the back to give the shot some depth and I was using the 135mm lens here. As you can see, James had to step outside to frame his shot. That is because he was shooting with the 85mm and on the cropped sensor camera, the ATD that he was using, that is actually equivalent to 136mm, which is why you need a lot of distance to compose your shot. Lord Morris Edgerton of Tacton. Is it Tacton or Tacton? Sure, but he's the one who built this place and she still said no. Masaibu ya boy child alianza kitambo. After that we went upstairs to shoot in one of the rooms but didn't end up liking it too much so we didn't take too many photos there. It was now time to take the photo shoot outside and we decided to start with some shots at the doorway. Again, you can see James uh, favoring the wider shots and me shooting uh, tighter headshots. We both shot with the A7R2 and the 135 manual focus lens for this one. We decided to try a bit of an environmental portrait with the castle in the background and her dress being blown in the wind. And this is the shot we took. I don't like it that much. It didn't quite turn out how I'd hoped. Finally, we went over by the trees to capture some shots there. I really love shooting people outdoors, especially in natural environments. I've even coined a quote about it. I usually say that nature is the perfect accessory because everyone looks good in it. I'm very comfortable shooting out in nature, be it using natural light or strobing. I just can't get enough of shooting people in lush green spaces. <laughs> We found this lovely bench and took some photos there. I was mostly using natural light for these ones. And the diffuser came in very handy to soften the light rays that were streaming in through the branches. And that was pretty much it, it was time to wind up the shoot. So I inserted the photos throughout the video so they wouldn't be at the end. So that was the shoot guys, uh, we'll display some of the photos we were able to capture uh, at the end of the vlog. Let us know what you think, would you like to see more of this kind of stuff? I wasn't able to talk too much about the lenses because you know we got really into the shoot so yeah but basically James was mostly on the 85 1.8 and the 50mm and I was using the 51.4 and the, and the 135 f 2.5 fd manual focus lens so yeah let us know what you think yeah so it's a wrap, it's a wrap. catch you on the next one Using, I uh, was using the Sony A7R Mark II, and James was using the Canon 80D. So yeah.
James is an awesome photographer. I'll put his social media links in the description below. Be sure to check out his work on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more content of this nature. Until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other.